worked with a ton of empaths and highly sensitive people and socially anxious folk and introverts. And there's a common theme in this particular configuration or way of being in the world. And that's often a feeling of it's a lot. The whole world out there, all the people, it's a lot. And so if I'm an HSP or an empath, I'll walk into a room, I'll feel the vibes, I'll be able to read everything that's going on. But the weird part about that is I'll feel it all in my body. And that's like way a lot. In other words, it's overwhelming to feel everyone's feelings or to, it's not that we feel everyone's feelings, but kind of read the room and for that room to land inside us. And I think one of the key components of balancing this beautiful gift of being sensitive or um, empathic is a sense of radical boundary, a sense that nothing comes in here without my permission. And I want to say that my history was of the worst boundaries known to humanity. I often tell a story of, you know, as I began to do this work, that my boundaries were like were like limp spaghetti hanging over my belly, and you could just kind of walk through them. I just completely lacked boundaries. It was just a just a thing. And so this lifelong process of developing a sense of hang on, I choose what comes in, was a total revelation for me. No one told me, like when other people are saying things to me, that I should be filtering what they say and decide what's true for me. Instead of letting the arrows like land in here and I'm like, ugh, walking wounded, near dead. They said something horrible and I'm now dying on the inside. Well, they can say something horrible, but I choose what's true for me. And I let in what is what I choose to let in. And so I think this is just one of the most powerful things we can do as an empath and HSP is to radically practice this sense of an energetic psychological boundary. You can imagine a bubble, but it's this deeply intentional, nothing comes in unless I say so.